Hello there, my name is Dapo Babarinde and welcome to Thursday's Challenge. Did you know that kindness is good for you? Whenever we do kind things for others or even think about doing them, a lovely feel-good hormone called oxytocin washes over our brain. This makes us more thoughtful, considerate, caring and wise. God wants his children to be kind because it blesses them and as well as those they are helping. Today, we would like for you to meditate on Ephesians 4.32, which says, Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as Christ, even as God in Christ forgave us. As you go through your day, think about ways you can be kind to your family and your neighbors. The title of today's devotion is Kindness, Sharing God's Love. It is based in John chapter 13. Jesus loved being kind. His heart was so full of God's love that kindness flowed through everything he did. Each person was precious to him, and he wanted to let them know how special they were to God by being kind to them too. When people were hungry, he fed them. When they were lonely, he stopped to speak kind and encouraging words to them. When they were sick, he healed them. When they were sad, he made them laugh and smile again. When they felt ashamed, he lifted them up, forgave them, and gave them a brand new life. He hugged and blessed little children and their parents. When Jesus saw how much people were hurting in their hearts, he wanted to mend their pain with the very special medicine of kindness that we can all share. Jesus told many stories about the importance of kindness. He told the story of a stranger who happily took care of an injured enemy because it was a compassionate thing to do. He told the story of the sheep and the goats to show us that the best thing we can do is to fill our hearts with God's loving kindness towards us so that we can share it with others. We can help by feeding the hungry, giving clothes to the poor, visiting those who are sick and in prison, and making sure that they are fed and cared for he told people to be as kind as possible, even to their enemies, because kindness can melt hearts and make them more open to God's loving care. He also said that whenever anyone does the smallest kind thing, they are doing it for him. Jesus knew that his time on earth with his disciples had almost ended. They had gathered for the feast of the Passover, and they were all looking forward to a delicious meal together. They had rented a room and prepared all the delicious food but there were no servants to wash their feet. The boat was there, and the towels, and even the water, but no servant. The disciples looked at each other, awkwardly. No one wanted to take the place of the servant by washing everyone else's dirty feet. Jesus felt sad. They had been together for three years. Every day Jesus had shown them what it means to be kind, and they still need to understand that kindness who does whatever it takes bless and care for others. So Jesus quietly took off his robe, tied the towel around his waist, and poured the water into a bowl. Now the disciples were ashamed of their pride, but Jesus wasn't embarrassed at all. He was happy to be the servant because it would give him another way to show them how much he loved them. And perhaps they might learn that if he was willing to do with such a humble child to care for them, they can also be willing to do whatever is needed to bless others. Together as a family, we want you to identify a time to pray together. When you come together to pray, we want you to pray the following prayers. Use me, Lord, to lead out in your kindness and to be your catalyst for change. I pray that you increase the kindness and goodness in my life and make me into the image bearer I am called to be. Help me be kind, even to those who are mean to me and pick on me. I want to show other people kindness you showed me. I want them to see you through me. Love is supposed to be kind, so I pray that you help me demonstrate loving kindness to my spouse at all times. I pray for that cleansing presence in my life, one that will change me into a kind and compassionate child. Please grant me a kind heart that knows when to speak and when to keep quiet. Please guide me to the scriptures 
to pray and then reveal the people in my life who need love and kindness. Change my heart, Lord. Make it more like yours. May your kindness be ever before me as I seek to be your instrument of blessing in the lives of others. Amen. May these be your prayers each and every day. Amen. For today's activity, each family will need a stack of sticky notes. It does not have to be so much. For example, you could take a full stack and divide them into four or five. It's best to start this activity in the morning, so if you can, please prepare it overnight. On the sticky notes, I want you to write encouraging scriptures. Throughout the day, leave these kind notes in random places at work, at school, at play. For families with little ones, parents, please encourage them to draw happy things and then write their sticky, write their scriptures for them and pass them out on their behalf. Please also remember to write kindness notes for each member of your family and leave it where they will find it. For the second part of this activity, I would like for each family member to think of one kind and selfless act they can do for each other. By selfless, I mean acting Providing kindness without the desire of getting something in return. When you meet for dinner or for worship, I would like for you all to share that kind of act, that act of kindness that you you provided to each other, and you'll be amazed how much joy you can get from giving and receiving kindness. I pray that every family who participates in this activity will be truly blessed.